uh, name. Uh, name, uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, Neem. How are you doing? How is your day today? Uh, okay, okay, Neem. Uh, today we're going to talk, uh, today we're going to discuss about exam preparation okay speaking speaking test preparation oh, all right i can see that gone is as well as well here all right just a moment okay okay gone and name good after uh, good morning guys so uh let me share my screen and i will explain what we're going to do just a moment please here we are. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen now? Uh, guys, can you see my screen? Okay. Okay. So today we're going to speak about um, speaking test preparation. Okay. Uh, I will explain you what are their uh, requirements, what uh, how we're going to evaluate, and what topics will you have. Uh, so, conversation, speaking test preparation, first semester 2021. Exam dates. Actually, uh, we have three weeks time, okay, for exams. Uh, starting from 27th September to the 15th of October. Here on the screen, you can see exam criteria. So, total, you will get 40 points. Uh, you will get 10 points for preparation to exam, fluency and coherence, 10 points, lexical resource, 10 points, and pronunciation, 10 points as well. So as I said, so total 40 points. Uh, also, please check the note. Student gets additional three points if he or she will ask a question. What does it mean? Actually, if you are not satisfied or maybe you think uh, you are not well prepared or you would like to get additional three points, okay, guys, you can ask a question to your classmate uh, during his answer, right? So for that, you will get three additional points. Uh, do you have any questions here, guys? Gone, name, any questions? No. No? All right. No. Uh, All right. Let's, look about, uh, let's look at the preparation to exam. What does it mean? Student is ready to talk about selected topic and student prepares materials such as PowerPoint, picture, photo, and etc. cetera. Uh, student is ready to talk about selected topic. For example, um, I will uh, actually I will provide you schedule when you're going to pass your exams, guys. Okay, but if at, on the date of your exam you say, oh, "I'm sorry, teacher, I'm not ready to answer today. I did not prepare myself," so it means you are not ready to exam. So ten points, you will lose like ten points. Okay, all right, but also. You can uh, support your answer by, um, by such materials like a PowerPoint, picture, or photo, right? It's up to you. You can use any of these um, sources uh, because uh, we will give you access so you can share your screen and we all can see what you are talking about, all right? Okay, guys, is it clear? Very clear. Oh. All right, all right. Next point is fluency and coherence. How clear and structured is your speech? To increase the score, uh, connect your sentences by linking words, extend your answers, add all the relevant uh, details, speak smoothly and continuously, and use pausing correctly. Lexical resource. 
How good is your vocabulary? Uh, to increase score, use a wide range of vocabulary. Use appropriate words and speak formally or semi-formally. And the last point is pronunciation. How naturally you sound. To increase score, pronounce words as clearly as possible. Uh, here I would like to pay your attention like, oh, uh, you should pronounce clearly like singular and plural words, right? So in plural, you have to add S at the end, right? Or you have to clearly, so we should, we should, you should pronounce clearly plural nouns. Uh, stress words and sentences correctly, use correct intonations, and uh, try to be easily understood by examiner. Uh, here, like if you want to say some long, you, for example, you want to say a long sentence, uh, the better way is to do just divide into two or three parts, okay? Say uh, and link them link these sentences by some linking words so everyone can understand you uh, easily all right any questions about your evaluation and what are the requirements what's so, the topic of the presentation yes here we are oh, we oh, have four. or i can choose or i can choose any topic yes yeah sure sure uh, Gan, let's read. What topics do we have for grade 12? Okay. Mm -hmm. How did you spend your last holiday? Strangest mm -hmm. building you've ever seen. Okay. What's your favorite sport? Embarrassing situation. Yes, sure. Okay. So okay. Uh, total, we have four, four different uh, topics. You can choose one, all right? You choose one, you prepare one, and you, uh, at the time of your exam, you can talk about that topic. Uh, but Presentation is on PowerPoint or in the paper? I, I'm sorry? I, I have to present it in PowerPoint. Uh, yeah, you can, support, uh, you can prepare PowerPoint just for uh, uh, some pictures, for example. Okay. Okay. For example, how did you spend your last holidays? You can make, uh, you can put in your PowerPoint some pictures of your holidays, and then while talking, you can we can just uh, you can just share with us. Okay. We okay. can see them on the screen, or maybe you want to talk about strangest buildings you've ever seen. Yeah. Also, you can make a, a PowerPoint presentation so we can see what are you talking about, right? Same mm -hmm. for for a favorite sport, uh, but regarding embarrassing situations, um, it's up to you. Maybe you can find on the internet, or maybe no need photo at all, or no need no need presentation. You can just speak about it. Okay. Okay, guys, it's clear. Okay. All right. Yeah. So as I said, you choose only one topic and. You have approximately three, uh, I think, yeah, approximately uh, three to four minutes to talk about it. Then I will ask one question and a student uh, from the, um, of our class will ask also one question. For that, we will get that, that person, that student who asked that question will get additional three points, okay, to his score. All right, uh, here we go. Let's uh, look closely what we have as topics, okay? How did you spend your last holidays? Okay, um, Gan, could you read? What do we have? What options do we have? Beach holiday, eco holiday, camping holiday, hiking holiday, cycling holiday, sightseeing holiday cruise mm -hmm. so you can choose any of these holidays and you can uh, and here we have some questions so you can answer and you will get very nice topic to discuss mm -hmm. let's read the questions where did you go how did you get there did 
did you go with? Mm -hmm. What did you do? How many days were your holiday? Mm -hmm. Describe mm -hmm. the most interesting place you visited. Oh, Is it visited? Visited. visited? Uh -huh. Describe the most interest interesting person you met on one of your journey. Describe the food you ate. What was the most delicious food? Are you planning on going anywhere for your next vacation? Okay, uh, let's just try, okay? Let's just try and um, practice a bit, okay? Like for example, where did you go? You can choose, uh, uh, you can look at the picture and you can choose, where did you go? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry again. Last year I went to the I went to Turkey for a sightseeing holiday. Okay, sightseeing holiday. Okay. How did you get there? Um, gone, gone. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, your voice is not clear. There is something wrong with the microphone. Maybe you need to hold it close to, to you. I went there by, by a tourist, tourist, uh, agency? tourist guy. Uh -huh. Yeah, tourist agency. Uh, by plane? How, how, did you, how did you get there? By plane. By plane. Uh -huh. Okay. Who did you go with? My mother. Okay, Mom. you went with your family, right? Family members. Okay. Uh, what did you do there? Uh, eating. Mm -hmm. So, shopping. Okay, you did shopping. Mm -hmm. You visited. You visited plenty of places. Uh -huh. Looking for scenery. Yeah. Okay. So these things you can describe, right? Already, uh, by 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 reading these questions, you're already getting a structure of your answer, right? So how how many days were your holidays? 10. 10 days okay so you can talk about it good describe the most interesting place you visited interesting place in Turkey must be Troy mm -hmm. Troy the ancient city uh, ancient okay. city mm -hmm. it's just it's kind of like you being put inside the Greek mythology is really amazing. There are so many ruins. And then, and then, and then the call is this, really, yeah. Yeah, it's making me throw back to God, goddess. And then I feel like I'm Greek. I see, yeah. I see. So it's really romantic. As you can see, you're already talking about your topic, you see? So by, by just just uh, just uh, answering these questions. Okay, uh, describe the most interesting person you met on one of your journeys. Um, the most interesting person must be my, my guy leader. Mm -hmm. His name, he's Turkish. His name is Ali. Okay. He's really funny. He's and, he, and he's always, and he have a, and you have a really historical mind that explain everything and, and, and recommended me food, a restaurant, which is really delicious. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, also, like describe the food you ate. What was the most delicious food? The most delicious food in Turkey. Maybe sh shawarma. Turkish, Turkish kebab, Turkish doner kebab, yeah. maybe. Like kebab and the dessert. 
to just yeah. be like really delicious. I see. I see. Good. Good. And uh, the last question: Are you planning on going anywhere for your next vacation? In Switzerland. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, you you can just prepare your answer like you can say oh and also like after visiting Turkey I have a dream for example um, I have a dream to visit uh, Switzerland uh, with uh, with uh, the picturesque forests right and nature and so on right good good so this is a way how you can how you can prepare yourself. Uh, for this topic, right? How did you spend your last holidays? Good, good. Okay, thank you, Gun. Uh, second question is, oh, sorry, second topic is strangest buildings you've ever seen. Oh, we can start by telling what types of buildings are there in your city, for example. You can say, um, Oh, by the way, let me ask. Uh, let me ask Nim. Nim, could you read what kind of um, what options do we have? Mm -hmm. Cabin. What? <coughs> Cabin. Mm -hmm. Farmhouse. All right. <coughs> Mansion. Good. Block of flats. Block of flats. Surprise and chapters. Tourist house. All right, tourist house. Good, good. Um, do you know these buildings? Guys, uh, Neem and Gan, do you know these buildings? Yeah. Oh, uh, where are they? Manacon in Kunte. Manacon building in Kunte. Okay. What about this building? I never seen it before. Never seen it. Okay. What about this one? Elephant building. Uh huh. Where Where Must is that? In Bangkok. In Bangkok. In Bangkok. Uh huh. What about this one? I've never seen it in Bangkok, but I don't know the name. <laughs> oh, but but have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what about this? Seen it before. <laughs> Never seen it before. Okay, guys. Uh, actually, like, uh, what what do you think? Are these strangers or not? Are these strange buildings? Mahanakorn must be the strangest I am seeing. Uh huh. Why? Why do you think it's strange? Because the design of it is really, the curve is really unstable. Uh-huh. Because of its, it's design, unstable. you mean, right? It's kind of like broken. Mm, yeah, it looks broken. like looks like the top of the building is broken, right? So there is something yeah. wrong happen with the a building structure. Yeah. Building shape. Mm, okay, what about this one? 11 building. Uh, no, uh, okay, let's say about elephant. Is it strange or not? Yeah, it's strange because every building is stick together by the by the by the elephant say. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. What about this one? By the way, do you know do you know their names? Okay, let's look. What's part the strangest building? You see, mm -hmm. Elephant Tower, Robot Beauty, Key Tower, Saponini Tower, Ghost Tower. Ghost Tower. Oh, Saponini. Yes, yes, that's what that's what I actually. Uh, by the way, we don't need to go anywhere else. We can just look at Bangkok, for example, right? We can find really strange buildings in Bangkok. All of these buildings, they are in Bangkok. Uh, Makanakon building, robot, robot, robot tower, okay, elephant tower, uh, ghost, ghost building, right, ghost tower, and G tower. 
uh, all of them, uh, we can say, oh, they are strange. The design is really strange. So, uh, so guys, what I'm proposing, if you would like to choose that uh, this um, this topic to discuss, you can choose these buildings, by the way, or you can find other buildings which maybe you you like most. Right? You can search in internet. Oh, uh, you can get that buildings and you can talk about them. Uh, what questions do we have? First of all, what are the strangest buildings you've ever seen? Where are they? You can talk about the place. What are they? Maybe uh, those buildings, uh, for example, they, they, they are like some condominium or uh, the shopping malls or uh, anything else, right? Can be. And also, what makes this building so bizarre? Uh, definitely, you can talk about, uh, first of all, their design, right? About their structure, about uh, their construction, the way, <clears throat> the way of construction, the way of they built, and uh, the purpose. For example, ghost building up to now, uh, it's it's looks like a monument. It's uh, it looks like a monument now. No one lives there. All right, guys, you have any questions for this topic? Yeah. Hmm? Is everything clear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, next topic is talk about your favorite sport. Uh, okay, Nim, could I ask you please to read the questions? Mm -hmm. Nim? Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. What is your favorite sport? Okay. Why do you like it? Mm -hmm. How often do you do support? Okay. Who go you? Who uh, I'm call sorry. You? Who who do you play with? Who do you play with? All right. Who do you play with? Mm -hmm. Is your support famous in Thailand? All right. Describe your sport. What equipment? Equipment do you use? Okay. Who is your favorite support man? Mm -hmm. When did you when did you start to do support? What are the good reasons to do support? Okay, okay. Let's try. Let's try to, uh, for example, uh, let's think you choose, you've chosen this topic. Okay, let's answer these questions. What is your favorite sport? Nim. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, we ha you can see on uh, on the picture football, badminton, uh, basketball. You can choose any sport. So, name. What about you? What is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is Yeah, uh, you can choose any. Actually, choose any. Just say any name. Like for example, we we, we are just uh, we're just uh, trying trying to make a topic. Okay, we're trying to um, make an answer. What's your favorite sport? Choose any. Let's say uh, let's say uh, badminton. Okay, let's say badminton. 
My mm-hmm. favorite sport is badminton. Mm-hmm. Why do you like it? Because you can say I like it because I like it because mm-hmm. uh, for example because this part is very dynamic right you have to uh, uh, you have to develop your uh, reaction all right you have to develop your reaction Mm-hmm. What else? What can you say? Uh, Gan, could you help? Why? Why you? Uh, why can we like badminton? I can like badminton. Yeah, yeah. Because what are the reasons? Because it is. Mm, because it's just. It's really dynamic, made your heart beating fast. Mm-hmm. It develops your reaction. Yeah, it's uh, it develops your reaction. Mm-hmm. It keeps it your really body fit. When you when you run, follow yes. the the shuttlecock. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe, maybe you like. Uh, uh, maybe you can say, "Oh, I like solo. I like to play solo. I, I don't like to be a part of a team." For example, right? So I, I like to play solo. That's why I like badminton. All right. All right. How often do you go? Uh, how often do you do sport? How often do you do badminton? Name. How often do you do badminton? Mm. Oh, here you can give like like you can say, oh, I do, I do badminton. Uh, I play badminton three times a uh, three times a week, or maybe once a week because I don't have enough time. I'm starting. So that's why I'm playing only once a week. Or you can say I play, uh, I play in weekends, right? So you can give many options here and just to explain. Uh, okay, who do you play with? Do you play with your family members maybe? Maybe you play with your friends or maybe you are a part of a team of badminton a badminton team, right? So you can talk about it. Also, is badminton is famous in Thailand? What can you say? Nim, what are you saying? Is badminton famous in Thailand? Mm-hmm. Gone. Gone. Could you assist? Is badminton famous in Thailand? Is badminton famous in Thailand? Ah, what do you think? Yeah. Definitely, it's very famous. It's not fa- only famous in Thailand, but badminton is very famous oh, in wow. all Asia. Yeah, it's very, oh, wow. it's very famous for it. Definitely, yes. Okay, and also you can talk, you can describe your sport, okay? Uh, uh, like, uh, for example, uh, what are the rules? You can talk about the rules of badminton, what do you have to do, and what equipment do you use for that? What equipment uh, do you use to play badminton? Like rockets, the shuttlecock, you also need to wear special, like, uh, uh, dry feet, dry feet t-shirts, for example, right? Uh, shorts, uh, trainers. Okay, so you can talk about all these things. And uh, the last one, like last few questions is, 
who is your favorite sportsman? So if you talk about badminton, you just name some um, some uh, famous famous uh, badminton players. Okay. If you talk about football, I'm sure it's more easier like to say about it. Uh, same for basketball. And when did you start to do sport? Uh, who introduced the spot to you? Okay. And the last one, what are the good reasons to do sport? Give your, uh, give your suggestions. Why? Why it's good to do this, this sport? Uh, okay. Uh, Gun. I have one topic. Ready one. Okay. I have one topic. Ready one. But this topic is about basketball. Let's read it. My favorite sport is basketball. I like it because playing basketball is good for my health. I often play it in the school playground with my classmates. It is an enjoyable and healthy sport which can bring us joy, foster better friendships, and help us grow taller. Mm -hmm. Basketball is a team sport. It is popular in Thailand. Many people are fans of NBA. My favorite player is Cole Bryant because he will, he has good skill to play the game. You need the basketball and wear basketball jerseys and sports shoes. There are some rules to follow. For example, you cannot push and hits all the players and the judge uh -huh. and must the judges, shoot the judges. Mm -hmm. you must shoot the ball within 24 seconds passing shooting blocking and dripping and dribbling uh, some example of basketball skill i began to play basketball when i was 14 years old it was a friend who introduced it to me. In the beginning, I found it's difficult. After a few months, I learned how to trip, dribble, mm -hmm. pass, and shoot the ball. Now I still insist on playing basketball every day. I think playing basketball can help me keep fit and make me happy. I have met many new friends. Also, I know the importance of team spirit and, I, and as I need to play with others in order to win the game. If you want to be happy, healthy, tall, and fit, play basketball. Okay. How do you like this? Uh, how do you like this uh, description? Okay, I like this description. Yeah. Is it good? Did, did we uh did we discover uh did we talk about all these questions right so yes yes actually it's it's really good it's simple uh you just need to follow uh you just need to follow the structure of these questions okay and you will um you will develop the topic okay so talk about your favorite sport so guys you can choose any sport and just go through these questions and you will you will really make a good topic any question about this uh about the uh, topic about sport guys gone name do you have any questions no no okay okay and let's uh, move to the last one uh topic number four embarrassing situations all right so um here we are we have different embarrassing situations um we have uh, we have words uh name could you read them could you read these expressions please mm -hmm. Fall into a glass door. Mm -hmm. Spill sauce on your shirt. All right. 
wear slipper to class hmm? or sleep in class knock something over very good say the wrong name wear clothes inside out Sit on with pen. With as someone you think you know. Mm -hmm. Show up on the wrong day for an appointment. Yes, for an appointment. Okay, good. Good. So you can use these kind of situations. And also you can uh, use the words like embarrassed, uncomfortable, stupid, awkward, silly right? Let's look at them. Uh, this is a kind of structure, okay? The first question, where did you go? When did this situation happen? What happened to you? You describe, right? And use the adjectives below to describe how you felt. Like embarrassed, uncomfortable, stupid, awkward, and silly. All right, uh, Gun. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's read this uh, this topic. It, actually, all these topics there are like an examples, right, for you to uh, to better make your answers. You can you can get some ideas, okay? How to answer? Let's go. Let's read. Hi guys. Last night I met some friends for dinner. I was running late, so I got dressed in a hurry and then rushed to the restaurant. When I got there, I went to the bathroom to freshen, to freshen up. Mm -hmm. And that's when I saw that my dress was on inside out. I have never been so embarrassed. I quickly took it off and put it on the right way. As I was, as I was heading for my table, I slipped, I slipped, bent my ankle on the leg of another table and fell down. I've had a brushed ankle for a week now. So come on, everyone. What's your most embarrassing moment? Let's have a laugh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, if you choose this topic, uh, it's nothing personal, okay? Don't don't think it's uh, you you talk about some personal things. No, that's uh, we are talking about. Uh, uh, our main idea is to have knowledge how to talk about this kind of situations. All right, because uh, maybe in an exams, right, you will get some kind of things. And it's very uh, it's very famous to have this kind of topics on exams to be honest, okay? So, but you have already an idea how to answer them, how to answer, how to speak about these kind of situations, okay? Don't, don't take it personally, just for, for love, if you choose this topic, okay? Uh, also, uh, here there are another, uh, another different uh, examples how you can talk about embarrassing situations. Uh, this uh, PowerPoint presentation will be available for you, okay? Uh, you will get it through your teacher. It will be sent in line group or through other stores, okay? But I think you will get it by line. Uh, you can go through each topic you can check what, um, how to say, uh, yeah, you can check what uh, questions are there, okay? And prepare yourself for the exam. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, we have, um, okay, grade 12 slash two, okay, student schedule. That's what I would like to talk to you. On 30th of September, we have these five students answering, okay? Just get ready on 30th of September. On 7th of October, another five students. Your names are here. And on 14th of October, 
three students. As I told you guys, uh, for preparation, if you say, oh, I'm sorry, teacher, I'm not ready. So 10 points gone, all right? Mm -hmm. So please um, pay attention to that. Uh, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice day. Thank you, Gan, and thank you, Nim. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.